Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Hi, Python. Okay, nice. How was your day? Sara, how was your day? I stressful. Oh, <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> how are you, Janet? Uh, how are you, Marjorie? Angel, Patricia, Diego, Hi. Christian? Nice. I think there is a problem with your internet, Janet, right? Or it's me, it's just me. Right, Marjorie? Or it's just my internet? I think. What is it? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, how are you, Christine? Yes, to join. Hello. Hello, Sandra. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I don't know. Um, just a question. Um, can you hear me well, or, or my connection is not good? Right now, yes. Yes, right. it's good. It's, it's good. Right. It's good. It's good. Yes, it's good. Oh, okay, okay. Because I got a notification saying that my my internet connection was unstable. Mm -hmm. oh All right. God. All right, but that's fine. That's fine. I guess I can handle it. Things like uh, the place where I am now. Um. It's a new place, so that's why probably uh, my internet is not going to be well, but uh, that's fine. I guess um, um, I'm going to, um, we're going to have a, a great class today without any problem with the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, welcome everyone. How are you, Eunice? How are you today? Hi, teacher. Okay. Uh, how, sorry, how... sorry. <laughs> uh, well, my day are very busy for the morning because I help um, my sister in mm. her class and for afternoon, sometimes I help in her uh, homework. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good. Okay, Angel, how are you today, Angel? Fine. I work today. Yeah. Okay, okay, nice. How, how are you, Diego? How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Nice, nice. Okay, so I hope uh, we are going to have a fun today. Uh, we, um, as you know, unfortunately for you, tomorrow is going to be the last day of this module. <laughs> uh, and seeing your face, Christian. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to have the last day of this uh, this module. And I'm going to ask you... Um, no sé si ya completaron su examen final, ya terminaron su examen final, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Yes, yes, teacher. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Uh, posiblemente... I, I have a problem in the exam uh -huh. final uh, sex. Oh, uh, platicó con uh, Flor, creo que Flor uh, es la encargada de, de esa parte de... Si hay algún problema con, con ¿cómo se llama? Con, con alguna parte del examen, creo que Flor, la persona encargada para poder solucionar ese problema, creo. ¿Verdad? Ok, uh, si no me equivoco, el módulo número 2 va a comenzar... Yes, 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 I mean. el, ¿Cuándo es? Creo que es el 21, si no me equivoco. El 21... Sí. Eh, de febrero, si no me equivoco, va a comenzar el módulo número 2. Así que, por favor, eh, estés ahí pendiente, ¿verdad? Pendiente de, de la información. Me imagino que sí, eh, me imagino que todos van a continuar, right No va a decir, no, uh, ok, I don't want to continue. The name of Jesus. Uh -huh, ok, so, uh, yo espero que todos continúen. To be honest, I don't know who the teacher will be. I don't know if I'm going to be the teacher, but what I know is that you will have a teacher, so I don't know yet. So, uh, all right. Um, si tengo, hay algún problema con mi conexión de internet, ¿no? Sí o no. Hello. Hello, hello everyone. Okay, let me see. Hello. Um, Ok, 
Can you hear me well? We want you to be our teacher again. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, for some reason, I was kicked off the meeting, but I'm here, okay? I'm here. All right, so I was saying that I don't know who the teacher will be, but uh, what I know is that somebody's going to be your teacher, okay? Somebody, uh, somebody's going to be your teacher. So, yo espero que todos continúen. Eh, y el 21 eh, van a comenzar las clases. Así que si no han lo que es... Si no han completado todavía el examen, tienen hasta hoy, hasta la medianoche para poder completar su examen. Yo espero que todos ya lo, ya lo completaron, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, good, good. All right, so uh, can you hear me well? ¿Me pueden escuchar bien? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, good. So uh, let's go to the point. Uh, let me start with the topic. I'm going to share my presentation. Uh, today we're going to be talking about what are you doing tomorrow? Okay, uh, solo tengo una sugerencia para todos. Eh, eh, si ustedes no van a hablar, eh, les voy a sugerir que apaguen su micrófono y el momento de poder hablar... Eh, que lo enciendan para que no haya interferencia porque um, a veces hay tres, tres micrófonos encendidos at the same time and sometimes well sometimes your classmates are participating but because your microphones are open sometimes it's kind of difficult to hear okay I very appreciate your comprehension and thank you all right so um, the topic for today is what are you doing tomorrow as you know, on Monday, no, was it on Monday? Yeah, Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, I don't remember, but we start, Monday, we review section number four. Tuesday, we learned about going to, future with going to, okay? Yesterday, we're, we worked on the future tenses with will, and today, we are going to start the future with the present continuous, okay? So we're going to be doing that. So as you know, this week, uh, we have been talking about the future, all right? The different tenses, the different ways that we can use to express our, any future action. So today we're going to be using the future, the, the present continuous and the simple present to express any future action, okay? So this is the agenda that I have for you all today. Um, this is the review previous learning. We're going to be reviewing. Also, we're going to have a warm up activity. And then we're going to be studying the future with simple present and present continuous. And lastly, if we have time, we're going to be practicing the language. Okay. So, what is the objective? The main objective that I have for you today a student will be able to learn how to use simple present and present continuous to talk about future, to talk about the future. So that's the main objective that I have for you today. Okay, let's review previous learning. All right, I have one question for you all. When do we use will? Can anybody help me with that? When do we use will? For the future. Okay, for the future. All right, thank you. Prediction. For offering. Prediction, A offer. Prediction. Suggestions. Suggestions, good. What else? A decision at the time. Yes, when you take a decision at the time, yes. What else? For what? events. What? I'm sorry? When we have an event. When we have an event, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? When we are not sure. When we are not sure, yes. Uh -huh. What else? Okay. The next... Uh, Mention three sentences with will. Go to the chat right now and type three sentences with will. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, type in the chat three sentences. So I will play video games, good. I will help you with your homework tomorrow, good. Okay, I will go shopping, I will go to shopping, we will study, she will sleep after classes, I will buy a shirt tomorrow, I will make cooking at night, um, I will go to the cinema, I will take some photos, good, I will go to the party with you, good, good, I will make, um, let me see, I will go to the park, I will get a job, we will study next level, will you be our teacher the next level? Good question. Uh, we'll take the bus. I will buy the breakfast. I will continue studying hard. Good, good. Okay, good. I will go to the church tomorrow. I will go to the church. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, nice. I will cook dinner. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I can see in the chat that you know uh, how to use um, will and that's good. Okay, thank you so much. All right. So uh, maybe something that I would like to clarify is that there is, um, I remember like a couple of minutes ago, I asked you like, when do we use will? And some, some of you mentioned when we are uh, uh, providing offering, offering. What is offering? Is it the same with offer? Hmm? Offers. Hmm? Okay, the word offering, it's like when you go to the church and you give money, okay? So you give money, so that is offering, okay? Maybe the priests or the pastor, the pastor says, we are going to sing uh, some, some songs and there are going to be some people who are going to be collecting the offering, okay? Offering. And the offer is when you offer something, okay? To help. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not the same offering and offer, okay? It's not the same. Is that clear? Yes? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. All right, nice. All right, so um, let's continue. Okay, we're going to have a warm-up activity. Uh, we are going to have uh, fun right now, especially because I know um, you like having fun every time we have a warm-up activity. So what are we going to do today? We are going to choose a valuable item for you, something that is very worthy, something that you love, or something that you would like to show to your classmates, okay? And then you are going to show it to your classmates and talk about it, all right? This activity will take place on small breakout rooms. For example, all right, let me see an example, okay? Imagine it's me, right? So I'm going to choose something that, uh, that is very valuable for me, that probably I had good experiences with, or, or anything, okay? For example, in my case, it's a GoPro camera. So for example, I can say, hey, uh, see, this is my GoPro camera. So uh, I have used these when I have practiced skydiving, when I have been running, when I have been jumping. And you can say, okay, um, you can say anything about your um, your item, all right? So please choose one item that you would like to talk about it, okay? Okay, estamos claro ahí? Is it clear? Yes? Yes, sure. yes, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, good. So remember, choose an item that you would like to talk about it, okay? Maybe it could be uh, your glass of water if you're drinking water. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. That's, I'm just kidding, okay? Choose something else. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe, uh, I don't know, choose something that you would like to talk about it, all right? All right, and then you're going to show it and talk about it, okay? I'm going to open the, uh, the breakout rooms and I hope everyone has a chance to talk. Okay, estamos claro ahí? Yes, yes, yes. 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 yes? Okay, good. All right, so let me go to the breakout rooms. I'm going to create groups of, okay, six. Okay, good.
because because is it's um it's a special uh, item uh, because like uh, yeah it's a tool because I connecting with other people in other countries or in um, another uh, city and yes. also uh, I can write with anyone. <coughs> Ulises, you start. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I read. Uh, I love read. Um, I read in my free time, and always I have one book in my desk, and I read everything. But my favorite books are the mystery, um, fa fantasy, and romantic but it's not much and i i prefer the books like the misery like the police or something like this and the fantasy like harry potter yes well in this moment <laughs> We're going to choose some eat item. Okay. Thank you. Very good. We're trying to. Oh. Ahora ustedes, ¿qué van a describir? ¿Qué objeto? Okay, uh, wait a moment. Hurry up, hurry up, time is running. Okay, I'm sorry, I, uh, I describe my wallet. Yeah. Okay, um, it's very special for me because... Uh, Something uh, made with... Uh, something with uh, the papers. Ah, a book. Uh, yeah, that's book. my object. Yeah. Okay, if you want, um, I will ask you to open your camera so that you can show it, but probably you are in the trans public transportation or maybe you are at work. If that's the case, no worries, okay? But if you are at home, well, just show it for a moment and then you can turn off your camera. Okay, that's a suggestion, okay? Yeah, in my case, I I going to still to home. No sé cómo se dice. And I always eh, la llevo a todos a todas partes. Mm, this my 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 notebook and I'm. Lo ocupo desde, desde la first class of the model. Okay, thank you. Good, good, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay that's all. Yes. We all did it. Do you finish? Yes, Do you all finish? Yeah. Do you all finish? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to give you like 20 seconds so that you guys can come back to the main room. Okay. I'll see you in the main room later. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay, uh, we're going to wait for your classmates, Rosa Maria, and then we're going to continue with the class, okay? So I have, uh, okay, so I can see, I can see Sandra back, um, Fatima, Eduardo, um, uh, Judith, Christian, Ricardo, okay, um, Diego, okay, good. Everyone is back, and I wonder, 
what you showed to your classmate. Who wants to share? Sandra, thank you, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Your mic is off. Okay, very good. Um, well, um, Cari uh, Fatima Karina says that he loves that she loves uh, her pilot because uh, she likes to write a lot. Okay. Okay. And also, and, and Judith Sanchez says that felt that uh, she has a book of drawings. Whatever she she goes, she likes to to draw anything: mountains, faces, lakes, whatever she goes. Right. And Luis Melgar has a, a very nice cell phone. Uh, oh, that is really? a very important. Yeah, that is a very important tool for for his work. And and I I don't have a, something like this, but but. What I have is, is some songs, Christian songs that I have recorded in, in French, in German, in, in Italian, in, in Russian, in Spanish, and in, and in English too. That is okay. Mine. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Someone else who wants to talk about his or her special thing. Okay. Something, the one that you use to show the, uh, to your classmates. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Porque vi que todos platicaron, right? Todos estaban hablando y mostrando sus objetos. So I want to hear any, someone. A volunteer, a brave volunteer. Uh -huh. No veo todo con mi edita, así como que, ah, yo, yo, pero tengo pena. Nah, don't be afraid, please. Just open your mic and start hey, talking. Oh, there you go, Giovanni. Go, go. Giovanni. Well, uh... I want to show you these two objects that are too important for me. There are two screwdrivers. These two screwdrivers, my girlfriend gave me. Uh, that's because she she knows that I like to fix uh, computers because I'm, I, am a, I am a technician. And I always choose this screwdriver because my favorites I use for everything, especially for me because she gave me and they're very useful for everything. Oh, that's all. Okay, good. So she gave them to you, those screwdrivers. Good, thank you. Yes. All right, uh, because of the time, or, or does anyone else want to, um, to talk? Anyone else? Or should I move on? Okay, you are kind of quiet today. I wonder why you're quiet today. Uh, I'm sorry, Giovanni. Uh, drivers means uh, destornilladores, right? Screwdrivers, yeah. Screwdrivers. Yeah. Screwdrivers. Ah, screwdrivers. Yeah, like a screw, like arruinar todo. Screw <laughs> and uh -huh. driver, like como el manejador, un conductor. Screwdriver. Okay, I'm going to type it. Just That could be your new word for today. Screwdriver. See? Screwdriver. Those are destornilladores in Spanish. Screwdriver. Okay. Thank All right. you very much. All right. Thank you. I hope uh, you learned, uh, you're learning that word today. Of course. <laughs> okay, good. Um, okay, so let's move on with the class. And we are going to talk today about the future with simple present and present continuous. Do you know that we can express the future with the simple present and present continuous? Well, most of the time when we are expressing future actions, we have the tendency to say, I'm going to, I will, I'm going to, I will. And, but it's important that you know that there are other tenses that we can use to express the future. But before we jump to the future, it's very, very, very important that you know this, what I'm showing to you right now. When we are uh, expressing sentences or when we are talking at uh, some time, well, not some time, it's very interesting and very necessary to use expressions of time. Or in other words, time expressions. Especially, let's say that we are talking about the simple past so we can we can use expressions of time such as 
yesterday, last week, last month, last year, a little while ago, an hour ago, this morning, in the past, a long, a long time ago, the day before, yesterday, recently, when I was born, and what, one week ago. As you see, every time we are expressing the simple past, uh, if you want to use those time expressions, they are very good because the meaning will be much clearer if you use time expression. Okay, on the other hand, in this case, see, if we are using the present, we can use time expressions to express sentence in the present. For example, today I eat something, today and so on. This week, this month, this year, at the moment, now, at this time, nowadays, this day, right now, as we speak, okay? So those are time expressions that we can use when we are talking in the present. And when we are talking about the present, we are talking about not only the simple present, but we are talking about the present continues, the past perfect, the past perfect continues, all of that, okay? Though they are, all of them are what? In the present. But this is very important that we know this one. If we want to express future sentences with simple present and present continues, you will see that those future or those expressions of times are very important because if you don't use them, the the sentence can be very confusing for example if i if i'm telling you i'm working what do i mean by that i'm working what do i mean by that i'm working it's in, in the morning in that yes. moment okay in the moment right but if mm -hmm. i say i'm working hey. tomorrow today okay if i say Trabajaré mañana right see today. Okay, I'm working tomorrow. The tomorrow changes the meaning of the whole sentence. See, si ustedes no me le agregan expresiones de tiempo de futuro, la oración va a estar muy confusa. Muy confusa. Okay, so if you are, but no worries, I'm just um, explaining ahead something that I'm going to show you a little bit later. All right, I'm going to show you in today's class that. All right, um, let me clear that. All right. Good. All right. So the simple present, when we are using the simple present with a future meaning, look, we use the present simple when we are talking about timetables. I remember yesterday somebody was asking me, hey, teacher, when did I use the present simple? Or when did I use it in a future meaning? Well, we use it every time when we are using timetables. If you have a timetable or a program, or for example, for public transport, cinemas, etc., we can use what? The timetable, okay? We can use the present, the simple present. And as you see, ¿qué es lo que hace, por ejemplo, en esta oración? Look, what time does the field begin? The train leaves Plymouth at 10.30 and arrives in London at 13.45. Si, si ustedes ven, el verbo está en qué? Está en presente, pasado o futuro. Present. Está in, in, the present. in the present. Good. Entonces, lo que hace esta oración futuro, esta oración futuro, ¿qué es? ¿Qué, cree, qué creen ustedes que hace esa oración futuro? The time. The time. Very good. Lo que estoy diciendo es que el tren arribará a las diez y media mm -hmm. de la noche, ¿sí? Possibly right now it's seven. What it's um, it's eight thirty. Let's say that I want when I'm saying that sentence, it's eight thirty, and the train it's uh leaves Plymouth at. I mean, not not arriving, but leaves, sale, abandona. So lo que hace la oración futuro es the time. All right. Look at this other one. The football match starts at eight o'clock. The eight o'clock, este numerito que ven acá, es lo que hace que la oración sea futura. All right? Pero ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar el simple present? 
Aquí está la respuesta. When we had timetables. What is a timetable, by the way? ¿Qué es un timetable? Frame. What is that table? A frame. It could be a frame. Well, when you go to the airport, for example, and, and then yeah. you're checking. Horario. Like, yeah, horario. Schedule okay. or a timetable. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Timetable. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move. Look at this one. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. All right. So, no se preocupen si ahorita están como que, ah, ¿cómo así? No entiendo. So, I have more examples so that it can be clearer, right? So, let's go to the next topic. I mean, the next slide. See? So, we use the present simple for future events at a specific time. So, when we have a timetable or a schedule, look, the plane takes land at 11.40. That sentence is future because I'm using a specific period of time, right? The plane takes land at 11.40. The other one, look, we leave to Edinburgh at night. Posiblemente ahorita sean las 7 de la noche y yo diga, hey chicos, a las 9 salimos. Esa oración, a las 9 salimos, esa oración se convierte en futuro. Okay. All right. oh, but okay. we say that in a main present teacher, and we say we can say saldremos, right? Sí, sí, sí. Sal, <laughs> ajá, sal, salimos, salimos, o saldremos. I would right. say saldremos, porque sa, si decimos saldremos, ahí ya sería futuro, futuro. I will, we will leave. Pero si, sali, mm -hmm. si decimos salimos, eh, hey, nosotros salimos a las nueve, salimos, uh -huh. la oración es presente. Mm -hmm. We're leaving. Oh, we are leaving. Estaremos saliendo. We Estamos saliendo. We are leaving. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We Look leave. at the other one. Yes. With the present continue. Uh, we use the present continuous with arrangement, planned actions at a specific time. Your intention or plan has been arranged. For example, I'm meeting. I'm meeting my friends at seven. We are having a, a birthday party. All right. Por ejemplo, look, look. En esta oración, ¿es esta oración clara, sí o no? Is that clear? Mm -hmm. We are having a birthday party. Does it mean yeah. like today or does it mean later or does it mean tomorrow? Today. today. Yes, that's what I was saying before. We're having As, a birthday party. Uh, hey, today. imagine somebody is calling you. Hey, Pedro, where are you? Hey, you know what? We're having a birthday party. Ok, la persona que me escucha diciendo eso va a decir, oh, ahorita están teniendo la fiesta. Pero si le digo, hey, Pedro, what are you doing? I say, you know what? You are invited. We are having a birthday party tonight. Tonight. Mm -hmm. So that, oh, that means that is in tonight, later. That means that is an action in future. Ok. Ok, no worries. I have another example here. Mm -hmm. Okay, more information. Present continuous. When do we use present continuous? We use present continuous for arrangements and plans. For example, we are getting married in Spain on July 24. Si yo pusiera, si no colocara esto, look. Esto. So that means that it's happening right now. We are getting married in Spain. Pero, como agregó la fecha, July 24th. Oh, no now. That would be on July 24th. Look at this other one. I'm having coffee with my boss tomorrow. Si le quitara la fecha o the period of time or time expression. Hey, I'm having a coffee. I'm having coffee with my boss. That means right now. See? ¿Sí? Okay, por eso les decía anteriormente. ¿Ven cuán importante es que si están utilizando el presente continuo, do not forget the time expression, ¿ok? Do not forget it, because if you, if you forget the time expression, the sentence will sound like you are doing it right now. Porque eso es lo que es el presente continuo, ¿remember? 
When you're using the present continuous, that means that the action is taking place at the moment that you are speaking, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. so, and that's yes. why, cuando utilizamos el present continuous for future action, le agregamos esa, ese pedacito que se llama time expression, okay? For future. Oh, All right. yeah. Look at the other one. I'm meeting my accountant tomorrow at night. They are flying to Australia tomorrow. Okay? So how about for the, the, the present simple? So we use the, the, the present simple for future action when we use the, uh, when we have bus table, bus timetables, train timetables, movie timetables, flight timetables, etc. Also, we use the present simple for future action or for future events when we have a scheduled repeated event. For example, it's my birthday tomorrow. Si ustedes pueden ver acá, esto es que, ¿qué, qué tiempo es? Presente, pasado o futuro? Present. Present. For present. present. Good. Present. It's present. my birthday. Pero como le agregó tomorrow, y puede, no puede ser solo only tomorrow, it could be next week, next month, or next year, that makes the sentence simple present with a future meaning. Okay, future meaning. Look at the other one. It's Christmas next week. See, ahí va. I have a German class next week. See? He has a job interview in a fortnight. What is fortnight? Quincena. Quincena, good. Fortnight. Quincena, nice. All right. Let me see. Let me clear that. Okay, good. Okay. Look at this other example with the present continuous. Uh, what are you doing after school? So, imagine si le preguntara a, a Juanito esto, right? Let me see. Uh -huh. Si le estuviéramos preguntando esto a Juanito, okay? Look, ¿qué cree que me respondería Juanito si yo le preguntara, hey, what are you doing? ¿Qué me, qué me respondería Juanito? What are you doing? Uh -huh. In that moment. I go to, I'm walking or I'm, I'm going to home. Mm, good. I'm home. See? I'm playing soccer. Okay, I'm playing soccer. Um, I'm walking back home. I'm going to school. I'm going to visit my friends. I'm enjoying the environment. I'm watching the bird singing. I'm doing anything. Okay? So, but since I have after school, so that changes everything that change everything see hey juanito what are you doing after school oh so that means that i'm going to do something after i have gone to school okay estamos claro right there look okay. i'm buying tickets for saturday match so we use the present continuous to talk about fixed arrangements in the near future for example, let me ask you a question to you. What are you doing after this class? Okay, go to the chat and type, please, the answer. What are you doing after this class? Okay, go to the chat and type the answer. I will go to sleep. <laughs> Okay, type in the chat, please. Okay, uh, I'm going to visit a friend of mine. Okay, I'm taking my dinner after the class. I'm Patricia Marroquín. Okay, ya vamos a explicar eso, Patricia. Ángel Martínez, lo mismo. Ya vamos a explicar eso. Okay, I'm doing homework. I will cook the dinner. In this case, Giovanni, uh, you are not supposed to use the will. Remember that we are trying to use the present continuous. 
Pero tiene sentido, Giovanni. Tiene sentido cuando dices, I will cook the dinner. Uh, Christian, I'm continuing. Remember, it's the present continuous. Okay? I'm going to see, okay, I'm doing my homework after class. I'm going to see. Mm, si ya me estaba utilizando el I'm going. Okay. Okay. Stop right there. Stop. Look. Si yo les hiciera la, the following question. What are you going to do? What are you going to do after class? Si yo les hiciera esa pregunta, what are you going to do after class? Your answer would be, su, su respuesta sería, I'm going to blah, blah, blah. ¿Sí? Pero en este caso, I'm not asking that. I'm asking, what are you doing after class? ¿Sí? Si ustedes ver, el tiempo verbal es completamente diferente. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claros ahí? Como el tiempo verbal es diferente, and the question is, what are you doing after class? Your answer has to include any present continue. For example, I'm studying for my finals, for my final. Mm -hmm. um, I'm reading a book, for example. I'm watching a movie. Uh -huh. I'm watching a movie. Later, I am uh, talking to my friend. Si ustedes ven la forma como estoy contestando, Va dependiendo de la forma como me fue preguntado. Yo dije, what are you doing? So, I was using the present continuous. Therefore, the, the sentence, all the sentences have to be with the present continuous. Estamos, uh, is that clear or is that confusing? Mm -hmm. No, now it's clear. Just thank you. Okay, yes. Uh, okay, um, I don't remember the other day. I, I don't know if, if, if I was uh, telling you or the other group that the same way you are you are being asked is the same way that you need to answer. For example, if someone asks, can you speak English? You will say, can me, can me, uh, what would you answer if you, if you were asked that? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, okay, see? Okay, that's why you need to pay attention. So, depending on the form of how they ask, that's the form that you're going to respond. Okay? All right, so let's move on to the next slide. Look at the other, look at this example. Mm. Maria, Maria is flying to London tomorrow. So I need the subject. The subject is Maria. Maria. And, uh -huh. and the verb to be is, is. Is. Look, si ustedes vieron, no sé si vieron los ejemplos, pero yo vi unos ejemplos así. Look. Without the ing, Maria is fly to London tomorrow. So, so it's very important that that you remember this. Okay, acuérdense de esto. Flying, that is the present continuous. And with the present continuous, ¿qué le pasa al verbo con el present continuous? What happens to the verb? We have ing. Yes, 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 good, good. We add ing. Awesome, thank you. Okay, that's why I dice Maria is flying, flying to London tomorrow. Look, okay. Mm -hmm. Seguro que les dije, ¿verdad? Ahí, um, ustedes háganse un estudio y, se, y, y vean cómo contestaron. Okay, look at the if. If, I, if somebody were, uh, were asking me, is she flying to London tomorrow? Because that is a just no question, right? Is she flying to London? Okay. Okay, I guess this is uh, something that I wanted, I wanted you to know. And it's the fact that with the present continuous, don't forget the I-N-G, okay? Don't forget the verb to be. Acuérdense, si yo tengo I, that would be am. You are. Uh, he, she, and he. Is, that is. Is. Person. And we are and they are. Okay, don't forget that, please. And then, and then, don't forget this. 
ing. Okay. Okay. All right. Estamos claros ahí, right? Sí. Okay. Good. Let me see. All right. Let's do. Um, let's move on right now. Okay. So let me see if you remember how to do that. What are we going to do right now? It's fill in the blanks below to complete the sentences. Use the words in the above boxes. Okay, look at the example that we have. Sam is having lunch at the cafeteria tomorrow. Sam is having lunch at the cafeteria tomorrow. In that case, uh, how would it be the number two? ¿Cómo sería el número dos? Help me. Are you, are you flying? Are you flying? Good. Excellent. Are you, well, I don't, are you flying I to Dubai am. next year? Yes, what? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. Good. Okay. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar con el número tres? Who? Mr. Gibbons. Okay. Mr. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. If you want to, if you want to help me, tell me your name and you're going to do number three and then somebody else is going to do number four and then somebody else is going to do number five and so on. Okay. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar con, con el número tres? Who? Mister. Who? Me, teacher. Okay. Joaquín Ramirez, number three. Good. Number four. Okay. okay. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar con el número cuatro? Me, teacher. Who is, Who is me? Who is me? Sally. Okay. I mean, Sandra. Okay, Sandra, good. Number four, Sandra, number four. Number five? Janet. Okay, Janet, good. Janet, number five. Number six, Giovanni. Okay, Giovanni, is that, is that good, Giovanni? Number six? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Awesome. Thank you. Number seven, can you get us number seven? You. ¿Quién es yo? <ríe> Dígame su nombre. Oh, Patricia. Patricia. Ok, ok, Patricia, usted va a ser number seven, ok. Number eight. Uh -huh. Number eight. Who? Ok, Luis Melgar, thank you. Number nine. Judith. Judith, ok, Judith, number eight. Ángel, number nine, ok. Ángel, number nine. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Number 10. Marjorie. Okay, Marjorie, number 10. Good. Number 11. Number 11. Eunice. Hey, Eunice, thank you. And the last one, number 12. Who? Me. Me. I, um, well, I have some other later, uh, but Diego, Diego, you will be number 12, okay? Diego? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, vamos, el primero. Uh, number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Perkins is giving her student a, la, a, la, a test in a few days. Good. Thank you. Number four. Harry, the train, uh, the train is leaving in 10 minutes. Come on. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> number five. <laughs> I'm getting up very early tomorrow morning at five o'clock. Thank you so much. Number six. Uh, uh, it's John coming to the party. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. Okay, good. Thank you. Number seven. I'm going to a shopping mall this weekend. Thank you, Patricia. Good, good job. Number eight. No, we're going out on Friday. We are staying home. Oh, thank you. Good. Number nine. We're not going out. Tomorrow is Saturday. I am sleeping late. Okay. Uh, me lo puede repetir? Can you repeat that again, Angel? Yeah. Tomorrow is Saturday. I am sleep, sleeping late. Okay. Vamos aquí atrás. Okay. Look. Um, okay. Uh, I... Ángel dice, I sleeping. ¿Qué le hace falta a Ángel ahí en la oración? Auxiliary. Le hace falta... To be. El verbo to be. ¿Cuál sería en este caso? Am. 
Am. Am. Am. Okay, good. Okay, Ángel. Okay, Ángel. Yes. Okay, yes. vamos, vamos. Dígame de nuevo la oración. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, give me a second. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, number nine. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sleeping late. Good, good, good. Number 10. I'm, I'm playing football tomorrow afternoon at 2.30. Okay, good. Number 11. Sally, turn off the TV. We are eating dinner soon. Good. Number 12. No, we are having a meeting today. It's at uh, three o'clock tomorrow. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What we're going to do right now, uh, we don't have enough time. And probably tomorrow we're going to practice that. But before we go, well, what I would like you to do is I would like you to write sentences and answer this question again. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow okay okay what are you doing tomorrow and you know what uh we have let me see eight minutes we will go to the small breakout rooms and we had uno a uno uno a uno okay so you're going to ask and answer what are you doing tomorrow let's suppose sandra do you want to be my uh, my volunteer, you and I? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Okay, uh, Sandra, what are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, I'm finishing my my first level of uh, intermediate English. Mm -hmm. Tell me more, tell me more. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, well, okay. and then... Okay, you know what? You can think about, for example... Uh, the places that you are going to be visiting tomorrow, food that you will be eating, meetings, I don't know, any events that you're doing tomorrow. Okay, mm -hmm. well, and tomorrow I am meeting with a friend at 9 a.m. Okay, and, and so after... on, okay, and so on. So, lo que quiero que es eso, what we were doing, that's what I would like you to do, okay? And it, you will have one-on-one, -on -one. and por favor, don't be quiet, because I know some of you are like, hey, Le dice, por ejemplo, Sandra, are you there, Sandra? Sandra, yes, are you I there, Sandra? No, that's an yes, example. Yes. That's an example. That's an example. Okay. And then <laughs> there is someone, hay uno que quiere hablar y el otro no quiere hablar. I'm like, hey, Sandra, ¿estás ahí, Sandra? ¿Estás ahí, Sandra? Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. So, ahora vamos a tener un chance de hablar uno a uno. Here okay? I am. One on one. Okay. Don't be shy, please. Okay. Let me set up the small breakout rooms. One on one. Ahí o habla o habla. <laughs> okay, aunque a veces han visto unos que cuando les toca hablar mejor se salen y luego entran. <laughs> Son pícaros. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, I'll see you in the small breakout rooms, okay? <laughs> right. Um, what are I going to do tomorrow? Well, I don't have any plans to do tomorrow, but I think I'm going to the university maybe in the noon, but I don't know. And then maybe I'm going to work. I'm going to work in my house, maybe. I don't know. In fact, I don't have any plans. But okay. uh, only, only waiting here for for my my classmate send me the details that of the day to tomorrow. And you, what are going to do tomorrow? Uh, well, uh, tomorrow I'm going to to. Tomorrow I'm going to getting up uh, early in morning uh, at five o'clock. Do you finish? No, oh, sorry, I, I got lost. What was the 
the question. Uh -huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The question is, what are you doing tomorrow? That's the question that you are supposed to um, uh, talk. Okay. Patricia, what were, what are you go? All, all week. All weekend. All week. All week. Uh -huh, yes. Um, and weekend, este, descanso. Um, back, I, I come back home and take my dinner. Um, after that, I have to receive the English class. And, and the final is, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to sleep. Okay, it's a Okay, uh, I hope you had a time <laughs> to talk. I was visiting some rooms and some of you were talking, some other were like, I don't remember what we were supposed to talk. <laughs> okay, uh, but it's uh, understandable, okay? Okay, um, uh, what do you talk about it? Okay, I need one or two volunteers to talk. What do you talk in small breakout rooms? Only one volunteer, no, no many, okay? So only one. Hello? Hello. One volunteer? Yes. Janet, uh, what are you doing tomorrow, yeah, Janet? Uh, I'm up early tomorrow in the morning. At okay. Five o'clock because uh, I need to, to prepare to go to the to the office mm -hmm. early, and then I'm going to to be mm, too much busy at the office because I have many things to do. Uh, at uh, afternoon, I'm going to go to taking um to lunch with some coworkers, and at uh, the uh. At the afternoon, I'm going to prepare me to the last uh, class, English class, and then I'm going to prepare something uh, because on Saturday, I'm going to go uh, to a wedding. Oh, okay. Good. Good, good. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. And remember, uh, just to conclude and wrap up the activity of today's class, Listen, uh, tomorrow we're going to meet at seven. I mean, not at seven, at eight o'clock from eight o'clock tonight. So we're going to meet tomorrow the last time. Okay. So I want to say thank you so much. Uh, have a great night. I hope to see you tomorrow. And please don't let me down tomorrow. Okay. Please. I know many of you already got the certificate. Nah, I'm not going tomorrow. Where are Mr. Pasque ahí solito trabajando? No, please. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Okay. 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 Nice okay. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Take care. Bye bye. I see you tomorrow. Bye.